long amateur career, diverse opponents in his pro career. He's seen it all. Tonight, he sees a boxer puncher. And that's why he's seen it all. That's why he was put in with all those different amateur fights for tonight, to be ready for this moment. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. To the head he goes with a left hand. Not able to land the head shot. Halfway through this round here. Prove that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Look at him! He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. to find change on the beach. You go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. That can be tumultuous. That can be a double-edged sword. You have a lot of guys that are successful, and then what is really success? Is it having a relationship afterwards? Because sometimes the professional part erodes the personal part. Halfway through round number two. Blocks that low, and then a counter uppercut. Psychological part, Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged, because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body, because the body's not moving. Relax, relax. Cotto's gonna think about the next time he throws 
a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Showing you some defense there with the block. with a combination up top. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. That is a sharp uppercut by Miguel Cotto. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And round three comes to an end. Mosley's up on Teddy's scorecard, three rounds to zip, but still obviously a lot can happen at this point forward. Doubling up the jab by Sugar Shane Mosley. Great right was lined up, but he missed. Survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. And at the end of round six, Mosley's performance has been consistent tonight. All night long, we've seen the same thing. Scoring to his opponent's head from the outside. Well, if it's not broke, why fix it, Joe? He's doing exactly what he should be doing. Now it's up to his opponent to change something here. Hunting with the left. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. He just missed that shot up top. Miguel Cotto's looking for a way to get this fight back on course. A course that can get him a victory. This isn't it. Just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do. Way through round eight. Look at all. Nice clean. 
swing left hand. Ten. Start of round number 11 here. The championship rounds are ahead of us. Comfortable lead on your scorecard, Teddy. Mosley's got to be enjoying that, but he could close the show. I mean, this may not even get to the judges based on looking at his opponent. No, he absolutely could, but he's got to remember one thing. You have to be careful when you have somebody wounded because they become dangerous. They don't care anymore. They may take chances they normally wouldn't take. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. Take your step. through this 11th round, Shane Mosley's putting forth a great combination there. He missed with that headshot. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Sugar Shane Mosley. Oh, so 